Hello, welcome to the next video of a uh, conversion for an electric Sentra 2004 to an electric vehicle. My name is Jose Barriga. Uh, I want to show you the progress that I made since the last video. Uh, the first thing I want to show is the uh, sign. My, my, my good friend from uh, Puerto Rico, Del Inturbio Rio, sent me this uh, and, and it just fits perfectly. Thank you. Uh, so it's uh, advertisement, it's never enough. Uh, now, I'm working on the batteries. Uh, this is the interesting part. I finished doing the uh, I finished doing the um, modifications of the uh, space for the batteries. So if you see, this is uh, looking much better now. It's completely sealed from the outside, and the batteries are going to be here. This is the first one. It's, uh, I already measured, and the three of these measure perfectly. This is going to be a separator that I'm going to put between batteries. Um, <coughs> Now, this is going to fit there just fine between batteries. I think this could work as a little bit of a, um, for cooling, I guess. I don't know. But it just fits there really nice. And um, this is what I'm doing now. These batteries were originally coming in series. And the problem with that is that I'm going to use a system which is 120 volts compared to the original 360 volts. So what I had to do is disassemble the batteries and put them in parallel because I'm going to really be using a system of 120 volts. So what I'm doing is pretty much this. The batteries were originally in series. So this is what I'm doing. I'm going to connect three in parallel and then in series. So uh, every set of three, now it's going to be in parallel. Which means I had to disassemble the uh, packages as they, they were coming and I had to rearrange the batteries. So if you look at this, this is pretty much now three in parallel. And I'm going to connect this to the pot to the negative and then this three in parallel and let's jump into the next uh, series. So I'm connecting three at a time in parallel and then in series with the next uh, set of three. Uh, these batteries are quite nice actually when I realized that I could really disassemble these things easily and this is really uh, just have a, a, a large rod that keeps them together and on top of that there is one of these that holds the, uh, the, the batteries together with this uh, with this uh, with these uh, screws so this is really nice they fit on a few of these at a time and then they just become this it, it holds it really nice uh, the way these are coming and one fits really nice after the other this is a single battery these are really nice they just fit into the rods and then <coughs> these are the separators and also uh, to avoid that uh, the cells get too much, too close together. This will keep them at the right distance. It's, it's really nice. And then just on the sides, this. So that's, that's really, really nice for this. Now, of course, the original uh, cell toppings, I'm, I won't be able to use them anymore. These were configured in series, each one. And now I'm going to do parallel. So this, I don't think I can use this anymore. And of course I cannot use these, uh, these little guys anymore. So what I thought I'm going to do is, I want to use, to join the, the batteries now, this regular simple copper, copper pipe. And uh, what I'm doing is pretty much, I cut it with this, really easy to cut. And then with a simple hammer and uh, some tools for uh, uh, people who work on cars. These are just a few simple tools, a flat hammer. This is what I got. Now this doesn't even look like a piece of pipe anymore. I just flatten it uh, and it turns out it's about, pretty much about the same size as one of these. And it's about the same thickness. So this is going to work really, really great. You cannot even tell this was a pipe anymore. Uh, unless, I mean, you have a lot of imagination. This could 
but it's uh, going to work. And so, for example, to join three and three batteries together, this, for example, is going to go here. I need to make holes. If you see, this is going to fit really, really nice there. You just need to make a few holes. And I really hope this is going to work. So that's what I'm working on right now. I still need to fix this battery and that battery that is still original as it came. I know they fit perfectly fine. And then I'm going to uh, try the car in, in probably a few four or five more days of work. Thanks for watching. Bye.